powerful full moon in Libra occurring in the beautiful airy season, April 7th. Of course, we have to come on here and spill the tea. So if you're ready, let's go. Let's get into it. Hello, my beautiful lovelies. Welcome back to this beautiful channel. If you are new here, hello, hi, how are you? My name is Shanetta from goldenlineage.com and here on this beautiful, abundant YouTube channel, I love to make tarot picker cards, tarot readings, and other spiritual related videos like this one, okay? So if that is something that interests you, if you'd like to continue seeing me, my energy, be sure to subscribe and join this beautiful growing family, all right? And while you are subscribing, be sure to ring that post bell notification bell down below so you stay updated and you do not miss out when homegirl, when sister posts future videos like so. You already know, let's go, period. All right. So of course you guys know I had to come on here and just spread some of my channeled messages from source about this powerful pink moon, full moon um, occurring April 7th in the sign of Libra, all occurring in Aries season you guys this is so powerful and you know the big reason why I do like these moonology not moonology these um, moon magic videos is because you know a lot of people don't realize the power of the moon the cycles of the moon and how it can really you know honestly change our lives for the better in so many different ways so you know the people that harness and use the full moon and the new moon energies you know, you can get very far. You can manifest so many beautiful things in your life if you just take the time to check in, educate yourself about, you know, the transits, what's going to be happening, how it's going to affect you, what you can do to, you know, fully harness this energy and improve your life. So, you know, you're here. You answered the call of spirit. Spirit has brought you here. You answered. So there's definitely going to be some powerful messages in here for you. I have my notes over here. I took some channeled messages that came through as I was, you know, just, you know, sitting and uh, reflecting about the energy. So I'm excited to share this with you guys. If you feel called to get a notebook, take some notes about the things that really stick out to you, the things that really resonate with you, uh, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Really go for it, family. Um, but yeah, so, you know, grab some water, grab some tea, a snack, if you will, and let's get into it. All right, because it's going to be a little bit lengthy. We're going to be talking about quite a few things. All right, so here we go. Full moon and Libra occurring in Aries season. The reason why that's very important is because, you know, we have Venus energy mixing with Mars energy because it's occurring in Aries season, okay? Um, and this is gonna be occurring April 7th, Eastern time. You know, it's gonna be happening April 7th for me. Some people might be April 6th, but less, it's okay. And I do always remind people that the full moon energy will be present in the cosmos, in the atmosphere three days before the day of and three days after. So even if you see this a little bit late, you can still do your rituals. You can still harness this energy. And I also want to encourage you guys to be very mindful and observant, okay? Three days before the full moon, the week of the full moon, okay? The day of the full moon, what pops up for you? Three days after the full moon, what's popping up for you? Journal it, write it down, okay? Um, and I, you know, something that's popping up that spirits communicating that would be very beneficial for all of us, me, you watching this every everybody um, is get your journal and you know the week of the full moon write a diary entry about what happened each day and so that way you know what I'm saying you can really read it and reflect and see okay this happened the day before the full moon all this happened on the full moon this happened after you know let me put all this data this information together and really see what is you know being what the universe is communicating with me because you know everybody we have different you know uh, aspects in our chart we have different you know zones 
zodiac signs within our chart, different, you know, signs in our houses. So it's going to affect us all differently. Um, so not everything that I mentioned today might be for you. It might be for the person that you share this video with. It might be for, you know, somebody else. It might be for me. It might be for some, you know what I'm saying? So just, you know, put ego to the side. I do ask that um, because spirit is going to go in here. Um, and I feel like the messages need to be heard, bless. Um, but just please put your ego to the side, tap into your higher self and, you know, just be mindful of, you know, what are some of the messages that are coming through for you? But yeah, like I said, be observant. What's popping up for you? What's happening around this time? That's going to key you into what you should be focusing on releasing. Okay. What you should be focusing on, um, improving as well, because full moons, it's a powerful time to release what no longer serves you. And it's also a powerful time to, you know, focus on how you can improve your life. How can, how can you improve yourself? Okay. So, you know, around the full moon, don't be too focusing. Don't be too focused on what everybody else is doing. Don't be focusing on what Sally Mae is doing. Don't be focusing on what Timmy Timmy is doing. Strictly focus on you. Okay. Um, check in with yourself. Okay. Um, talk to yourself. I mean, these are all the big messages that spirit is communicating. So let's get into the details. Okay. So full moons, what are full moons all about? Like I was just mentioning full moons. It's basically a time where the moon in the sky is so big. It's illuminated. It brightens up the night dark sky. Okay. So, you know, as the moon is brightening up the dark depths of that beautiful sky in the night, the full moon is also going to be illuminating the depths of your life. The things that have been hidden, the things that have been kind of, you know, on the back burner, burner. maybe you had a feeling hmm, that person shouldn't be in my life. Maybe you had a feeling, but you never did anything about it. You just brushed it off. Full moons, you know, just as they do in the sky, they illuminate everything that's been going on in the dark. Okay. So around this time, especially because this is a full moon in Libra, Libra, you know, it's all about partnerships, relationships. That's the seventh house energy. And the seventh house is about partnerships, relationships. Okay. So we should be checking in with our friendships, our romantic relationships, our platonic relationships. We should be checking in with the relationship that we have with our brothers, our sisters, our children. If you have any, you should be checking in with the relationship that you have with yourself. A lot of people, you know, they hear full moon of Libra. Oh, okay, cool. I'm going to, you know, focus on my relationships with Timmy. I'm going to focus on my relationship with Bethany. Da, 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 da. Also focus on your relationship with yourself. Have you been being true with yourself or have you been shady? Okay. Have you been trying to, uh, perpetuate this energy of somebody that you're not? Have you been posing? You know what I'm saying? You know, basically posing, acting as if you're somebody, but you're really not. You know, the full moon is going to illuminate it. So just as the full moon is going to illuminate the people in your life that are fake, that have been posing, the full moon, if you have been, you know, this isn't for everybody, but if you have been shady, if you have been acting like somebody you're not, if you've been posing, um, the full moon's gonna really bring that to your attention. Like, whoa, you're gonna look at yourself and be like, this ain't me. Why am I doing this? Why am I trying to live this lifestyle when I know it's not for me? You know what I'm saying? The full moon is gonna really help you check yourself. So just as you you like to check other people, check in with yourself, check yourself, okay? Um, so there's that. But anyways, getting back into that Libra, okay? So the full moon, it's happening in the sign of Libra, okay? And Libra, that's ruled by Venus. And Venus is the planet that we all love, okay? She she is just what gives us love. She gives us those pleasures, the comfort, the enjoyment, the smiles. Venus is such a beautiful planet, okay? Um, so, you know, also like beauty, appearance, your looks, okay? So, you know, this full moon will be a powerful time to do a, you know, self-care ritual, uh, self-love ritual if you've been feeling a little bit insecure with your image or, you know, uh, your weight or, you know, anything like that. This would be a powerful time to really focus on it and, you know, check in with yourself, be real, you know, what is it that's causing those insecurities? Okay, like we're diving deep here. You know, you look at yourself in the mirror, why don't you 100%, you know, compliment yourself? Why do you have those little smart marks about yourself? What is it? What's causing you to feel uncomfortable? And what can you do about it? You know, a lot of people, they're like, you know, um, I, yeah, you know, I look real good. But if I was a little bit lighter, I would feel better. So this full moon is going to illuminate that. All right, you want to lose a little bit weight for your health and you know, for you to really enjoy your appearance, what can you do to do that? You know, what can you add to your lifestyle? How can you improve your lifestyle? What can you release from your lifestyle to help you
you lose that weight or gain that weight. Cause you know, some people, you know, they're a little bit insecure because they're underweight or they want to be a little bit thicker. Okay. Um, so different messages for different people. Is it your hair? You know, what don't you like about your hair and what can you do to fix it? A lot of people they're like, I don't want to wear my natural hair. You know, I don't know how to manage it. You know what I'm saying? It's just so easy to throw in a wig. It's so easy to do this, you know, and that used to be me. But you know, when I sat with myself, I was like, okay, you know, what's really happening here? I'm not really being patient with my natural hair. I never gave the, my natural hair a chance, you know, just throw wigs on it, you know, mistreating it, putting heat on it, you know? So when I cut that out, boom, you know, she's thriving, she's thick, she's juicy. So, you know, these are just, you know, examples, but getting back into it, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, yeah, focusing on anything in your life that has to do with partnerships, relationships, uh, beauty, you know, the fun that you're having. Also, Venus energy does connect with your financial situation, okay? So the full moon for a lot of people is going to be illuminating, okay, are you happy with how you're making a living or not? Okay. And once again, why I said this earlier, we have to put the ego to the side. You might be making a lot of money doing what you're doing, but deep down, Okay, deep down, you know what I'm saying? You're you cry when you get home from work. You know, you cry, you're upset, this doesn't make you happy, it's not your passion, it's not your purpose, and your higher self is trying to tell you, hey, it's not too late. You can step away from that. You can go follow your life's purpose. Hey, you can get out of there, you can get out of that. But if you've been ignoring it, you know what I'm saying? If you've been just brushing it off, like, oh yeah, I'll do it someday. I'll do it someday, especially for my Tauruses out there. Okay, my Tauruses and my fixed signs, okay. Okay, so if you're a fixed sign and this is resonated with you, use this full moon and Libra to fully release that job that's not serving you. Okay, put the ego to the side. It might be making you some good money, but I guarantee you when you start following your life's purpose, your soul's calling, even more abundance, even more prosperity and opportunities will be coming to you. Okay, um, so these are just some messages to really check in with yourself about this full moon um, in the sign of Libra. So I do have my notepad here. So let let me read you off some of the bullet points, okay? So a big message that, you know, spirit is wanting us all to you focus on, you know, April 7th, three days before, three days after the day of, um, who are you? Okay, who are you really? Who are you individually? Okay, so who are you when, you know, the friends aren't there? Who are you when you're alone in your room? Who are you when you're not around your significant other? Okay, who really, you know, who are you really? Okay. And you know, this full moon is also going to illuminate for so many people, you know, have you been acting like somebody that you're not? Have you been trying to fill the shoes of somebody that you're not? Okay. And a lot of people, you know, because it's going to be some heavy stuff that's popping up, but you know, you know, at the end of the day, if that's you, if this message is resonating with you, full moon and Libra tells you to cut the crap, cut it out. Okay. If there is any time to, you know, just be your true authentic self, it's now. It is now, okay? Because remember this, you know, you can uh, you can be amazing at faking and being like somebody that you're not. You can be really good at it, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you continue, you continuing to act as if somebody that you're not or, you know, doing a job that, you know, really isn't you, it really doesn't serve you, either one of two things is gonna happen. You're gonna lose yourself along the way or you're gonna get to the top, you're gonna get to the finish line of whatever it is and you're gonna be like, wow, you know what I'm saying? All this for what? But, you know, it really didn't do anything for me at all. You know what I'm saying? I have fake friends. You know, the friends that I have, they're in love with this fake persona of me. They're not in love with me. You know, they don't know who I am truly. I've been faking, you know, this, this personality. I've been faking this appearance. You know what I'm saying? I've been faking it for so long. And, you know, a lot of people, when they get in that position, you know, they're scared to open up and be like, oh yeah, well, this is really me. You know, this is me because, you know, the friends, they might go away. But if friends choose to, to cut you off or if people choose to leave your life because you're being your true authentic self, and you know, you're just showing your true you, bye, you don't need them anyways, okay? So yeah, you know, who are you individually and have you gotten off track?
So yeah, who are you individually and have you gotten off track? Now, I also want you guys to go ahead and calculate your, your life path number, okay? And um, you can do that by going into Google, typing in life path calculator, but yeah, figure out your life path number. And this is a big way that you guys are gonna know if you're on the right path in life. So you figure out your life path number and you read about it, you study about it. Are you working a job that correlates with your life path number? Are you using your skills that correlate with your life path number? Or does it seem like, you know, your life path number just doesn't resonate with you? If that's the case, you are way, way off your track, okay? You're off, your, you know, your, your train track is like this and you're like this, all right? So, you know, as full moon and Libra, it's all about balancing things out, getting your life back in order. So, you know, these past couple of weeks, you know, even days, even months, if your life has been chaotic, okay? If you have just been, you know, surrounded by chaotic, you know, just craziness, arguments, fights, drama, all right, just negativity. Use this full moon in Libra to balance out your life. Meditate, ground yourself, go out in nature, connect with Mother Earth, turn the phone on airplane mode and go within, okay? This full moon is going to give us all as a collective the opportunity to really sit with ourselves and evaluate what's working for you and what's not. And best believe, you know, if you're watching this and you're confused, well, I don't know what's not working working for me. I don't know what's working for me. The full moon will will illuminate it, okay? Um so finding balance and harmony within yourself and within relationships because once again, Libra that's that seventh house energy. Okay, partnerships, relationships. So you want to make sure that if you are in a relationship, a intimate relationship with somebody, um, that you're being your true authentic self. You know, you're not faking a voice that's not yours. You're not, you know, acting like somebody that you're not. You want to be sure, you want to make sure that you're able to be your true genuine self. Because if you have to lie and act like somebody you're not when you're in a romantic relationship, that relationship is not going to work out. It's just not going to unless you choose to say, hey, you know, I'm gonna just keep it real. I've been lying about some things. Um, let's just restart. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's okay. It is okay. So, you know, it happens. You know, if the person genuinely loves you and they care about you, they will accept, okay, yeah, you know, she or he messed up. Yeah, you know, but if they love you, they're gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna give you another chance. Just keep it a hundred. So yeah, if you've been lying to anybody, if you've been keeping secrets, I mean, the full moon really might illuminate those secrets, um, especially in relationships, um, like cheating and, you know, just sneaky things like that. That's gonna be illuminated during this time. Mind you, while I'm filming this, the next week, the following week, uh, Venus retrograde is gonna be coming. Okay, not coming, but we're gonna be stepping into shadow period, okay? Because Venus, Venus goes retrograde, um, let's see, Venus goes retrograde May 13th, all right, and the shadow period begins April 9th, so that's just a reminder, so, you know, relationships that aren't serving you, okay, um, toxic relationships, it, this Venus retrograde is either going to make them or break them, either heal them or just, you know, disintegrate them. So check in with yourself. You know, if friendships are fading away, if, you know, people that you were in a talking stage with are fading away, let them. That's the universe showing you, hey, you guys aren't compatible. All right, so, you know, looking more at my notes, what I have here, um, what's working for you in your life right now? What's working for you and what's not, okay? Is your sleeping schedule serving you or is it causing things to be worse? Is your eating habits serving you or is it causing other areas in your life Life to go downhill. All right. Is the music that you're listening to serving you in a good way or is it making your life worse? And I talk about this in so many of my videos and my readings because it's so important. And I want to make sure that all of you guys, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at my preamp, but I want to make sure that all of you guys really hear this, okay? You know, what you consume is what you become. So, you know, if you're if your life is very chaotic, if you're involved in drama all the time, gossipy people, if you keep attracting, listen to this, okay? If you keep attracting lower vibrational people, fake people, if you keep attracting, you know, people that aren't genuine, people that are phony, that's the universe reflecting something that you have going on inward. A lot of people, they, they play 
play the the blame game. They're like, okay, you know, well, this person's fake. Oh, she's so fake. He's fake. Oh, I don't like him. But you guys fail to realize, or the people that this message is for, you know, these people fail to realize that, you know, sometimes the universe, in order to heal us, the universe sends us people that, you know, are actually a representation of what we have going on inward. All right. So if you keep attracting, you know, lower vibrational people, toxic people, toxic situation, drama, fights, if you're always angry, if you're always yelling, if you're always, you know, just having an attitude, your lips up about something every single day, you know, maybe it's not them. Maybe it's you. And this full moon in Libra is going to illuminate that for so many people. And a lot of people don't realize this, but to be real with you, something that causes toxic people is toxic music. All right. And I don't just say this for my health, but if you're listening to nothing but that trap music, you know, that rap music that just talks about, you know, fighting people, killing people, violence, degrading women, um, that it promotes, you know, um, forget love. I don't need love. All I need is that check. I'm gonna chase that check. I'm gonna chase this. I'm gonna get that bag. I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna steal her man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take his girl. I'm gonna do, if you're listening to that kind of music, you have to really check in with yourself. Okay. How does your life look right now? Okay. I guarantee you that it's not the best that it could look. You really have to be mindful of what you're consuming because what you consume consumes you. You wonder why you're attracting narcissistic people and bitter people. And you're wonder, you wonder why you're attracting people that don't give a crap about you. You're listening to music that makes you not give a crap about anything but money, you know, and this is also a message that's been coming up for the collective. You are a spiritual being having a human experience, okay? You are a spiritual being having a human experience. So please do not get caught up in the three-dimensional distractions, aka that lower vibrational music that was strictly created to keep us humans at a lower frequency. When we're vibrating at a lower frequency, we are not living up to our fullest potential, our fullest capability. And you know, lower vibrational music doesn't even necessarily just have to be the trap music, the rap music. And it's also, you know, any kind of genre that talks about feeling angry and sad and depressed and breaking up with people and feeling alone, feeling sad. I'm going to go in my room and cry. You know, it can be any of that kind of music. You listen to a song, you know, you start listening to it, you're feeling happy, you're feeling good. And then after that song's over, you're like, dang, I'm thinking about everything in my life that's going wrong. Man, my life is so messed up. Y'all don't even have it as bad as me. That mentality will get you nowhere. Okay, I tweeted something about a week ago and said basically that a lot of people are getting older, but they're not growing up. Don't let that be you and don't let that be the people that you're hanging around. So again, with this full moon in Libra, check your circle, check the people that you're sh sharing space with, check the people that you're following. Are they, are they getting older, but not maturing? Are they still at a standstill? You know, they don't, you know, they're not even putting any of their energy into, you know, their life path, what they want to do. They're just comfortable with being stagnant. Okay. They're comfortable with just staying at the same place for years and years and years. Please don't let that be you. This full moon is going to make sure that that's not you. Okay. So check in with yourself. All right. Your friends are a reflection of you. So, you know, that's why they say your vibe attracts your tribe. Okay. But some people are like, I'm not like them. I just hang out with them. No. Okay. Okay, because like attracts like if you weren't like those people, you wouldn't be hanging out with them. All right, so really check in with your friends. You know, do they motivate you? Do they tell you, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. That's going to get you into trouble. You should really be doing this. Do they keep you on, you know, do they keep you on point? Do they help you get out of bad situations? Or do your friends encourage you to do low vibrational things that keep you stagnant with them? Okay, that's a lot of these people out here. They're energy vampires. They know that you have all of this potential to be great, but they don't want you to use it. They want you to stay stagnant. They want you to stay on the same level as them when you are meant to be on level 10, but they're on level two. Come on now, family. So, you know, use this time to really observe certain things. And like I said, put the ego to the side. Okay. Put the ego to the side. What are you partaking in? Is it serving you to your wholeness or is it keeping you from your wholeness? Dive deep. Okay. Just like infinite waters would say, but you know, looking back at my notes. Okay, here we go. Because Venus energy correlates with your finances, your job situation. This is for so many people watching this. Let me ask you this question. Okay. Are you genuinely happy with how you are making a living? Are you genuinely happy with how you are making your money? 
and supporting yourself and your family. All right. So many people, they say, I don't like this job. I I want to, I want to start this business. I want to do this. I want to do this, but they just want it, you know, but they're not doing it. They're not making any changes. Okay. Do not let that be you. <clears throat> Excuse me, you do not want to spend 30 years of your life at a job that you despise, at a job that's making you bitter, at a job that's breaking your heart, at a job that is draining and sucking your energy from your body. Don't let that be you because by the time 30 years pass, you're going to look and be like, dang, I wonder where I would be at right now if I had followed my dream, if I had started that business, all right, if I had invested in myself. If I had cut those friends off, you know what I'm saying? Don't let that be you. Don't be a woulda, coulda, shoulda, okay? Do it. Just do it, okay? Um, but, you know, spirit's really going in here. And like I said earlier about your life path number, all right? Is your life path number in alignment with what you're currently doing to make a living? All right? And really put ego to the side. I don't care if you are making the most that you've ever made in your life. I guarantee you, if you literally invest your time and energy into fulfilling your life's purpose, which you were brought here to do, the universe will bless you with like literally quadruple the amount of money that you're making right now. Don't keep yourself in a box. Don't limit yourself. Okay. Um, there's no time to waste. Okay. Because whatever you put your energy into this year, 2020 is going to set the tone for the next 35 years of your life. Be mindful of that. Okay. And you know, sometimes things, jobs and situations, they're meant to be stepping stones. All right. Not to, you know, continue to you know, try to build our way up in that job that really doesn't serve us. So check in with yourself. And of course, on the other side of the spectrum, you know, if you are genuinely happy with how you're making your money, your abundance, like myself, you know, I'm genuinely content. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm going to continue with my multiple streams of income because, you know, we're constantly growing, we're evolving, we're not staying at one spot. But, you know, if you are genuinely content with how you're making your money, how you're making your abundance, that's a really good sign. But deep down, you know, if you, you cry after your shift, you know, you, that job just literally drains your energy and you feel as though there's not a mutual energetic exchange. Get out now. Okay. There is no time to waste. Okay. So the next, you know, comment that really came through in regards to this full moon of Libra is how can you get more balanced in your life? Because, you know, that's what Libra is all about is balancing the scales. All right. Making sure everything's even. So what is out of balance in your life? Is it your sleeping habits, your eating habits, the music that you're listening? listening to, the TV shows that you're watching, the people that you're hanging around, gossiping, all right? You know, holding on to negative people from your past, you know, not getting over it, not forgiving people, holding on to anger, holding on to depression and sadness, okay? What is it? What's out of balance? And what can you do to get it back into balance? Because a lot of people, they're like, well, my life is... It's crap. It, I, I can't fix it. Yes, you can. Okay. What you say is what you will get. So don't put yourself in a box. If you right now are in a really bad situation, you have the power to get yourself out of it. No matter how deep in a you know negative situation you are, you have the power, but it's up to you. Nobody is going to force you to change your life and change your behavior. Nobody is going to force you to turn your life around. It's up to you. Your intuition can only do so much if you don't follow it. Your spirit guides can only do so much if you don't listen. All right. If the universe has sent you the same message from seven different people and you still haven't taken the advice, I mean, what do you expect? It's up to you. All right. So what's been throwing off your balance? What's been causing you to feel out of balance? Once again, for a lot of you, it's the music. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, the, that's a big factor of it. You know what I'm saying? Because what you consume is what you become. It's what you attract. So you're attracting this, this drama in your life because of the music. You're attracting this anger in your life because of the music. You're attracting this depression in your life because of the music. I'm not saying to just stop listening to music, but what I'm saying is you have to be mindful. The moment that you're listening to a song and you know they start talking about something that you don't want to attract in your life, turn it off, skip the song, period. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's just something, whether you want to take the gem or leave it here, um, but I'm telling you, you know, what you listen to will change your life, either for the better or for the worse, okay? Um, but once again, what's been thrown 
taking off your balance? Is it toxic friends, lovers? Cut them off. Why are you holding on to them? Okay, what is it? All right, is it toxic ways of living? Are you the toxic one? Are you the toxic one? Sometimes, you know, everybody's like, oh, she's toxic, he's toxic. Oh, he real toxic. But you keep attracting these toxic people because the universe is showing you the same qualities that you don't like in that person are the same qualities that you have within yourself. So if you want to attract nicer people and people that aren't drama filled and people that aren't, you know, have attitude problems and anger and, you know, have these mental health issues, you have to change it within yourself first. Ah, okay. Let me say that again. If you are wanting to attract people that are high vibrational, you have to make the changes within yourself first because your outside uh, reality, what you see on the outside is, is a reflection of what's going on inward. So, you know, your life right now, if you're surrounded by loving people that care about you and that supports you, you know, that's a really good sign, you know, but if you have all these fake friends that talk about you behind your back and you talk about your own friends behind their back and, you know, you, you know, are in so many different people's phone and so many people, you know, have images of you and stuff like that, that's that's not a good, that's not good, okay? You don't wanna be scattered here, 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 here. You need to come to stillness and go within and check yourself what you're doing because that will also, you know, reflect on the outside. The moment that you fix yourself in the inside, your outside reality will literally look amazingly better, okay? So, you know, what's out of balance, you know? And me personally, something that, you know, is really coming through for me, I'm gonna share it, you know, just so that I don't seem perfect because, you know, some of the stuff is hitting for me as well. I mean, I don't have toxic friends because the moment that I realize somebody's toxic, bye, I'm out of here. Um, but for me, more so, it's like lifestyle, like, you know, waking up a little bit late. Uh, yeah, you know, waking up late because it's a domino effect. If one thing off, with one thing in your, you know, day Daily routine is off, everything else is going to seem to be going downhill. So use this full moon energy to really, you know, fix some things up. Okay. Um, and also there's a new moon at the end of the month. So you want to make sure that you're, you know, doing your rituals, releasing what needs to be released, cutting off what needs to be cutting off and fixing yourself. Because by the time that new moon in Taurus comes April 22nd, you want to be ready, you know, spiritually. All right. You want to be ready to manifest all of those beautiful things in your life. Okay, so the ball is in your court. All right, you don't uncover certain information just for fun and giggles. You know, spirit has sent you this message because you're ready and it's time for you to grow up. It's time for you to check yourself. Stop trying to check this girl, that boy, this boy. Check yourself. Focus on yourself and everything else will be in equilibrium. Everything else will be in harmony, in balance, okay? Um, and when you check yourself, when you cut out the things that are causing you to be, you you know, out of it, out of balance, okay? You know, everything else is gonna be a win-win for you. So remember that, okay? And mind you, you know, Venus shadow, Venus retrograde shadow period is beginning April 9th, so be ready for it. You know, the relationships, the friendships that don't serve you, they're gonna be dropping left and right. They're gonna be getting out of your life left and right. Go with the flow, surrender. Remember, anybody that leaves your life is for a reason. Any job that leaves your life is for a reason, okay? Um, and also, full moon of Libra, connect with your family, spend time with your family, get to know your family, okay? Um, yeah, so I don't wanna make this video too long. Um, what would be really dope is if you guys can share this video with somebody that you feel as though really needs to hear this message. As a collective, let's come together and heal. You know, let's heal each other. You know, because, you know, spirit presents us me these messages when we're ready. So, yeah, share it with a friend that you feel might need to hear this message, with a sibling that might need to hear this message. Um, share it with anybody. But most importantly, um, you, you, you've seen this for a message. So let's implement the wisdom that came through today from spirit. Um, yeah, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It lets me know you guys want to see more like so. I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I love you guys. Remember to do your rituals. Release all that no longer serves you. And also... Remember, you are abundant, you are beautiful, and you are radiant. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys. <laughs>